We rolling. Yeah, I think it's about time you give everybody an update. Yep, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It has been quite a bit of time since we've done one of these updates. It hasn't, it hasn't been a long time, but uh, looking back at what all we've done, it feels like it's been a long time. But uh, we got a lot to go over today. We've got a few new builds in the shop, and then uh, we've still got some of our long-term stuff here that we've made a lot of progress on. So we're just going to jump right into it and uh, start showing you what we've gotten done so far. So over here, you can see we got this land yacht of a car. Um, it's honestly a super nice car. Um, going to be just a nice little street strip car. Uh, older gentleman owns it. It is actually a 66 Chevrolet Biscayne. I believe that's what it is. Um, it's big, I know that. Yeah, it's big. This quarter panel is about as big as a Mustang is. But uh, got it in here for him this week. Um, not nothing super big. We ended up doing a uh, six or an eight point roll bar. Um, turned out pretty nice made it to where it's easy for the customer to get in and out of the vehicle that's why the door bar is done like this um like i said pretty simple the only other thing that we done to it was uh i ended up trimming the uh frame rails because they uh the frame rails actually had this part that pooched out on them for the stock spring and everything we took and cut that and plated it to where it's flat that way he could run a 28 10 5 instead of this uh 28 by 9 um, so that was just a quick easy job that uh, we got in this week and got out um, well we had what two and a half three days in we that? had three days in it so it was uh, honestly I like these jobs every once in a while it's just nice easy quick get in and out um, but honestly over the next four to five weeks these are kind of all the jobs that we will be focusing on we've had a uh, we've had a lot of small jobs turn into really big jobs which is fine but uh, we're going to have to take a little bit of a break on those and get caught up on all of our small job stuff. So, uh, like I said, over the next four or five weeks, we're going to be uh, pretty much have a car coming in every week that we're going to be uh, be trying to get knocked out just to get caught up a little bit. Um, I know we will never get caught up, but we're going to do our best to get caught up a little bit <laughs> so we're not so far behind. Um, you want to jump into the next quick job or we jump into big project? We can just work our way down and start with the white car. All right, so the white car, the last time y'all seen it, um, it was pretty much still a shell, but we've gotten a lot done with this thing. So uh, obviously, as you can see, we have got the front end mounted on this car. The fenders are mounted. All the bracketry on the front is uh, fabbed to the tube front end for it to be mounted. Obviously, it's all mounted, mounted. The uh, front bumper has been drilled and everything for the... Uh, mount to the fender so all that's done the hood and everything's just mocked up on here we gotta get all of our zeus rails and stuff for this but um got all of our bearings and stuff in for the uh front spindles got the front spindles on got the rack centered in the car got the wheels on and everything um so the front side of the car has come together a lot um we'll move on to the center part of the car so in the center as you can see we uh, actually had the customer come last week. We mocked the seat up in the car kind of where he wanted it. We're going to adjust it to uh, how the adjustments that he wanted made to it, mock it back up, have him come sit in it again before we final mount anything. But the seat's getting close to ready being mounted in. We have the um, steel um, that is required by the SFI book to go up underneath the driver compartment. Got that all in. It is just uh, clicked in at the moment. Um, until we were able to stitch weld that in. All that's in. And then we got our rear uh, waterfall panels made on both sides. Both of those are in. And then our little filler panels are made and in here too. So um, we've gotten a lot of the sheet metal work done inside the car. And then actually this week we just finished up getting the tubs inside of the car. So um, this thing's really starting to come together. Um, really the back side of the car is not going to take too, too much more to get... Uh, get finalized done that's the the next thing that we're going to be working on it's getting all the uh scallop strips in and then making all the templates and stuff for the carbon that's going to be going in the car that's actually what derek was working on uh before we started this was um we he was making this little piece right here filler panel that's going to be made out of metal and we'll stitch weld that in but then after that it's all on to uh carbon templates and stuff like that um 
one more thing that we've done to this so far is um, any of y'all that have Fox bodies or SC95 cars, uh, this is a brake kit. This is actually from Lions Custom Motorsports. So uh, we're get, this is the brake assembly and everything that we're using for this car. It's got one of their nice billet front plates and everything that uh, covers up the stock master cylinder hole. So um, making a lot of progress on this car. Um, like I said, all the sheet metal's next in it. Uh, once we get the seat mounted, we will start on doing the double frame rail and then it, getting the motor and transmission and everything mounted in the car. So uh, super happy with the progress that we've made on this thing and uh, it's gonna turn out to be a pretty sick little car. So moving on to the next Mustang. Like I said, can't really talk a whole, whole lot about this thing just cause it's a grudge car. Um, not, I don't remember exactly what all we talked about in the last video, but the motor and transmissions is, is uh, mounted in it and everything. All the steering linkage and stuff is done on it. And uh, they actually come and got fitted for the car. So we got to make some seat adjustments. Um, and then we've got to mount a brake pedal and get the gas pedal and stuff mounted on it. And then a few other small little things. And then the red Mustang will be done and uh, we will have that thing out of here. And uh, it's going to be a pretty nasty ride. I'm pretty excited to see it at uh, track. Um, next on the list is the Corvette. Um, this thing is my arch nemesis. Every time we touch it, it feels like nothing goes right, but uh, we're making some headway on it. And uh, as you can see, we got the front bumper off and the hood off. We've got the, uh, we end up getting the radiator, the fans, and then the AC condenser all mounted in this thing. Um, it's extremely tight inside of here and just make sure everything fits the way that it needs to and it clears our charge pipe and everything while it's in here. We'll, really the only thing that we'll have to modify on the radiator is we're gonna, where our um, inlet is for our upper radiator side, um, I'm gonna have to take cut it and 90 it out. That way the hose will run out through here into our water pump. But not too bad. Pretty much everything else is gonna work the way that it needs to. So uh, like I said, we're making good progress. The next step on this is, is I've got all the header material here for it. The flanges are mounted to the motor. I've gotta start building the, the headers for this thing. That way we can get the headers done and then get the hot side ran from the headers to the turbos, which is gonna be a very big challenge in itself. Um, yeah, he's got all that room. Yeah, Look lots of room. <laughs> tons, tons of room for activities in there. Tons of room for activities. Um, next thing, uh, Orange Nova, or gray, gray, gray Orange Nova. Don't know what color we wanna call it, but made some good progress on this thing. Um, Y'all seen that we had the tubs and stuff cut out of this the last time, but the tubs are in, they turned out super nice. Uh, we ended up doing a set of the adjustable front spring buckets. They were originally designed by CJ Racecar, but Mags Fabworks is the one that sells them. Um, got those in there, that way you can kind of adjust your ride height um, and not have to run a huge uh, spacer in the back. But uh, got those in, got the plates all welded in for those. Got the, uh, got the rear sliders and everything mounted in the car. We made some plates that uh, actually welds to part of the uh, frame rail and then to the uh, trunk pan and stuff like that. It's a big eighth inch thick plate. Then the sliders welded to it because we, uh, we actually moved the springs over as far as we could to help with tire clearance and stuff like that. But um, all that's in, done. Um, I'm actually finishing up the rear end right now. All the ends are welded on. The only thing that needs to be done is we gotta measure the section width for the spring perches, get the spring perches on, and then this bad boy is done and it can go home. Came out pretty clean. Yeah, no, this, this one's gonna be uh, very clean. It's a very clean car, and uh, he, he should be happy with it because of how clean it is. A lot of works went into this thing. Um, and as you can see behind me, we got a new, another new project in. This is our uh, weekly fill-in quick job like I was talking about. This one's going to be a little bit more than what it originally was, but it's still going to be somewhat of a quick job. But uh, as you see, super cool truck, a um, little street strip truck. Um, we want to add a little safety to it, so we're going to be doing a little four-point roll bar and stuff in it. Add a uh, obviously seatbelt bar, put some harnesses in for them. We're going to be doing a TRZ and our roll bar on this thing. Um, just because as big and as heavy as this thing is, it likes to torque up really hard. So uh, 
We're going to put an anti-roll bar on it to help it from uh, doing that. And then we're going to express the frame to help that too, just because on these big C-channel truck frames, there's not a lot to them. So uh, that's kind of what we're doing to this thing. That is all we're doing to it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I believe that is it. Um, am I forgetting anything job-wise that we've done? Anything to go over? Um, no, that pretty much covers everything. Um, yeah, we made good headway on pretty much everything that's in the shop. Um, just trying to, like I said, uh, trying to get caught up. We've kind of gotten behind just from small jobs getting turned into big jobs and some of them getting turned into full jobs. So uh, there's no problem with that. Um, it's just uh, sometimes we've got to take a break from that stuff and take care of all of our small jobs. Um, but we got some pretty cool projects coming in and I'm also trying to get all these finished up because we have a huge project coming in at the end of August, the beginning of September that I'm super excited about. I know Derek's excited about it. So uh, we will uh, we'll finally be getting to use our chassis table. So I'm excited about that, but want to get a lot of these jobs wrapped up that are in here because this job's going to take up a lot of our time for the next four to six months. So uh, just want to be able to focus on it, do as good of a job on it as we can, and uh, really get our name out there whenever it comes to full chassis work. But uh, that's kind of a wrap up for uh, for a shop update. I think we're going to start spacing these out a little bit more, kind of like we did this time, just because there's more to talk about in these videos. Whenever we do it like this, instead of trying to do them weekly, um, it's just easier to show y'all um, big progress and stuff on them. But uh, well, definitely, if we have a big project that gets finished up before it's time for us to do a shop update, we'll definitely make sure that we do a video covering that vehicle and stuff. But um, that should be a wrap. Um, if any of y'all haven't, we've uh, got another little series on the channel that's called our After Hours, and uh, we're doing a full build series on our one-ton buggy that we're doing. So uh, that seems to be doing pretty good. Um, but if y'all want to watch any on that, just... Uh, it's on the same channel just uh, go over there and watch that but uh, appreciate y'all guys for uh, watching make sure as always to like and subscribe and leave a comment of what y'all want to see and uh, just again thank y'all and y'all have a good weekend